Hello there, see Willy B here, and today I bring you part 5 of our little farm game tutorial. And today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make this crowbar so you can see all of your plants on your plant store. So let's get started. So here we have a plant store with a grid layout group. And when we hit play, you can see that all the plants show up right here. For now, we only have four plants, so there's no problem with a plant that is not showing here. But if we were to create a new plant here on the here on the plants folder, if we were to, for instance, duplicate the tomato and rename it to something So now we have a new tomato right here. And when we hit play, you can see that it doesn't show up because it cuts off right here. The content continues on, but the canvas is cut right here. So to fit our plant store, what we're going to need is first to use the UI scroll view. And you can name it however you'd like. And the movement is only going to be vertical because we are dealing with a list and we only want vertical movement. So I'm going to disable horizontal moving. And right here on our horizontal bar, we're just going to delete it, okay? In our scroll bar vertical, we're going to hold Alt and Shift and stretch it in order to fit to the scroll view, okay? So our scroll view, we're going to parent it to the store and we can hold alt to put it in the middle of our store right here you can see that the width is 200 i already know the width of my plant items and it's 260 i'm going to make it remain the same the height is going to be 350 and you can adjust it to your liking so i'm going to fit it right here and one other thing is first, I'm going to make the scroll bar vertical smaller. And second thing is I don't want it to be on top of the content. I want it to be outside of all this content. So I'll just change the scale on the X to be minus one. Okay, so it looks like this right now. And right here we have our viewport and inside our viewport, we have this content. This content is what is going to be giving us the height. So if we were to make it larger, as we can see right over here, the scroll bar gets a smaller handle in order to make it possible for the view to be scrolled. So if we were to hit play, for instance, right now, you can see that you can scroll right over here and the content is scrolling. But the thing about our content is that the plant store does not have a fixed size. So if we were to delete this content and drag this plant store into the viewport and right over here on the scroll view, we can see that it asks us for a content. I'm going to drag and drop the plant store. And when we hit play, as we can see, it doesn't work. This happens because if we look into the plant store, the size of it, it's very different than what we were to expect. In order to fix this size problem, we just need to add a content size fitter. Adding it, you can see that the horizontal fit and the vertical are set to unconstrained, but in our case, we want it to be the preferred size. So when we hit play, we can see that all of our plants are right here. The thing is, first, I don't like the elasticity right here. This can be fixed on the scroll right over here. And I also would like to change the color. In order to fix this, first thing, I'm going to clamp the movement. So now it's not elastic anymore. And I'm also going to make the background transparent. And right over here on our scroll bar, I'm also going to make the background a bit darker. This color should be fine. And when we hit play, we can see that it looks a bit better. And we can see all of our plants right over here. Okay, another thing you'll probably be noticing 
is currently, if you have the same plant store that I do, is when we hit play, it starts right here on the middle. This happens because of the pivot of the plant store. So when we go here to the pivot, you can see it's pivoted to the center. In order to fix this problem of starting it from the center instead of the top, we just need to pivot it to the top. Okay, so when we hit play, you can see that it's working and it's also pivoted to the top. If you were to pivot it to the bottom, you can see it's just pivoting to the bottom and it starts on the bottom. Okay, I'm gonna fix it to the top. And that was it today, guys. So here we have it, our little plant store with a scroll bar in order to see all of our items if we want to. This was a quick one. This was part five of our little farm game tutorial. And I thought this would be the last part, but some people have been asking me to show how the watering and fertilizing and also buying plots mechanics work and I'm gonna be making a part 6 that will be the last part of this little farm game tutorial that is going to be all about these different mechanics. So if you'd like to see that, stick around and if it's already out, you can see it right now. And thank you so much for watching. If this was helpful, please leave a like and if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. And if you'd like to see more videos and tutorials such as this one, don't forget to subscribe and stick around for more. Thanks for watching, bye!